what up YouTube, G4 Lady here once again, back with another video for you guys, and I'm doing something I haven't done in a while, which is my late night videos, but you know, back at it again, but tonight's topic is going to be my review of Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, seen it in the theaters, when it dropped, and I must say, this movie did not disappoint, um, I'm glad I waited and didn't see it subbed, I waited till the dub came out, and I am very happy that I waited. But if you haven't already guessed what the premise of this movie is already from the title, um, pretty much Frieza's lackeys gather the Dragon Balls and resurrect Frieza. And Frieza don't go directly to Earth after being resurrected. Instead, Frieza decides to train. And we also have Goku and Vegeta also training with the Weefs, you know. So they both going through their training pretty much. And then we have... You know, after the training, Frieza decides to come to Earth after Frieza achieved the new golden form, which is dope. And from the things I liked about this movie is I liked that it wasn't just a Goku-based movie. Like, everything didn't surround Goku. I liked how it was a mix of Goku and Vegeta, and not to mention all the other Z fighters got shine too. When everybody was fighting Frieza's lackeys, we got to see Tien be relevant again. We got to see Master Roshi be relevant again. We got to see Piccolo, Gohan. Everybody got their shine. It wasn't just a Goku movie, so I really did enjoy that. But I will say there were a couple things that kind of bothered me which was Gohan being one-shotted. <laughs> when, Go when Gohan was one-shotted in the movie by Frieza's first form, I called bullshit. I called bullshit. The fact that he didn't even go Super Saiyan either during the fight, you know, it was like, how the fuck did that happen? You know, maybe it's just a bad taste in my mouth when I seen, because I seen that scene from, I, I think it was a movie, Dragon Ball Z movie. It might, yeah, I think it might have been a Dragon Ball Z movie when all the um villains in hell were brought back and we seen Gohan as great Saiyan man punch Frieza and beat him with one punch. So that rang in my mind after seeing Frieza one shot Gohan. I'm like, how? But I realized that wasn't canon and this is. So um I just kinda didn't like that. I didn't like the inconsistencies in power, like how was even Master Roshi able to knock out any of them um henchmen? You know, so it's kind of like they up to Master Roshi and down Gohan and um, Piccolo. Because by this time, Piccolo already stronger than the Super Saiyan by this level. And they say, oh, we know match and shit like that. I'm like, what? You know, so I did have a problem with that. You know, the inconsistencies and powers of Gohan being one-shotted. But other than that, I really did enjoy the film. You know, I enjoyed everything else. I even enjoyed... Frieza. Frieza actually, it actually reminded me why I enjoyed Frieza and actually got to show you a different side of Frieza as well. You know, uh, I want to say innocent isn't the right word, but Frieza helpless. You know, seeing a helpless Frieza, you know, that was just a different side, especially seeing Frieza interact with Lord Beerus. So I found that to be really interesting. But yeah, like I said, this movie was great. Beautiful soundtrack, the um, crisp, nice crispy animation. Shit looked beautiful, and I like the um, super. I actually do dig the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. I actually kind of dig it a little bit, you know. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I kind of dig it. I don't know where's the power level, you know, like in comparison to Super Saiyan Two and Super Saiyan Three. But if Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan is stronger than Super Saiyan Three, we could say finally Goku and Vegeta on the same level. <laughs> you know, we could finally say that. So I'm hoping that's the case. But yeah, all of this is canon, you know, so we pretty much gonna find out in Dragon Ball Z, I mean Dragon Ball Super, you know, we're gonna find out which I'll be talking about, you know, in the next video. And it's going to be, you know, quite different from this review. My opinions on Dragon Ball Z, on Dragon Ball Super are different than this movie, but you'll see that. But anyways, I'm about to get out of here. You can hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the movie. Did you enjoy it? Was it worth the wait? So tell me your thoughts. G4 Leader here signing off, and thank you guys for watching.